<laughs> and kicking off this evening is Cody Rhodes. He is doing his long anticipated face off with Brock Lesnar. I don't know how long and anticipated it is. They have wrestled twice, but they are facing off. And I noticed that they basically played Cody's full song. Yeah. And the crowd loved him. They love that hometown hero, by God. Yeah, the woe was louder than it could be. Louder so, and louder each week, but this week, that hometown woe was as loud was, as it could be. Yeah, it was pretty special tonight. Yeah, I didn't realize they were in Georgia, and then I heard the woe. Yeah. <laughs> and then he started talking about being in Georgia, mm -hmm. their home. I was like, oh, there it is. That's why. Yep. So, yeah, he said there's nothing to talk about while Lesnar's still around. And then he just invites Brock to the ring to accept his SummerSlam challenge that's still outstanding. And uh, Brock doesn't immediately come out because I guess they're all trained uh, for people to come out within one to two seconds of having their name called. So like five seconds later, Cody's like, what are you doing? You a coward? I just thought that was funny. So then he says, no matter what time you show up to this ring, I will be waiting. If it's 10 a.m., I'll be here. If it's 12 p.m., I'll be here. If it's after the show, I'll be here. After all that, he calls out his mom. Just, I'm going to kick this guy's ass. Now, let me introduce you to my mom. Hometown, a little heartfelt thing. Yeah. And then he says his relationship with Brock can be described as hard times. But when Brock shows up in this ring, it'll be hard times for him, not for me. Cody then starts to leave. He's hugging his family, kissing everybody, doing the high fives and have a good night. Then all of a sudden, Brock's music hits. Cody's way runs to the end of the ring he's waiting to finally come to blows with brock lesnar and then his music just stops everybody's confused because again cody said it i think last week or this week he said whenever brock is challenged he accepts it so for his music to just cut out like that it's it's very unusual to say the least so then cody annoyed he starts walking to the back and then brock's music hits again so then cody Gets ready, and this time he's not waiting. He just goes straight to the back. And then all of a sudden you hear the steel clank of a chair. I mean, if you're a wrestling fan, you it's it's one of those unmistakable sounds. And then you see Cody stumble out, and you're like, what the hell happened? And Brock Lesnar comes out with a chair in his hand, and he just beats the shit out of Cody with said chair all the way back to the ring. And then he F5s Cody in front of his mom. And then he laughs at, <laughs> at Cody's mom. And then he puts Cody in the Kimura right in front of his mom. And then he stares at the whole family like, what are you going to do? And then Brock throws Cody back into the ring and puts him in another Kimura. And then he stands over this broken Cody Rhodes, just staring daggers at him. And he says, challenge accepted. See you at SummerSlam, bitch. And then Brock leaves. He's so jacked up. He's, he's doing his little warm-up dance. You know, that little side-to-side little -side dance he does before he jumps on the <laughs> ring apron? He's ready for this. And I got to say, Brock playing mind games is, is fucking awesome. Yes, it is. Now, after the first little tease when his music hit mm -hmm. and Cody started running up the steps. Now, I know it's WWE, yada, yada, yada. I thought that <laughs> Cody's mom was about to get F5. <laughs> I was like, oh, Brock's going to show up behind him and F5 his mom. That <laughs> would be been funny. awesome. But, you know, WWE. Or at least, like, throw a drink in her face or something. Yeah. Something, like, really dickish. Yeah, I thought she was about to have some kind of interaction. Well, maybe it's best that she didn't, because the way she was pretending to act like Cody was in peril was just, man, I'm just glad she's not my mom based off of that. Well, you know, it's got to be hard. It's got to be hard you pretending that your son's in danger. Yeah, I mean, she was like, <laughs> she was like, you suck, Brock. And Brock's laughing at her. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what are you going to do? Like, think about it. If Brock Lesnar, if you like run into him in a bar and for whatever reason, he just slaps the girl that you're with, you're not going to do anything. <laughs> I'm going to let you slide on this one. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let you go with a warning. Yeah. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> and he slaps her again immediately. No, no, gotta, no, I wasn't. Let me finish. <laughs> no, you got to be saying that in the car. When you're driving off, you know, you're talking the shit to her. If you would have done that again, I would have had his ass. <laughs> Next time he does it, if he's there in two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> you ever get called out on the next time? Yeah. It's not fun. Because you have it in your head that like, yeah, I'm a badass. 
And then you just immediately get shut down. <laughs> but yeah, it's very important that you got to be doing it when it's over and you're driving away from it. You can't still be in the moment. <laughs> it's got to be a scenario where it won't happen again. <laughs> Next time it happens. <laughs> <laughs> Or he's lucky out. <laughs> like, you're talking all this shit. Where were you when it was happening? Hey, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so we still need a stipulation for this match, I think. Like, right now they're building it as just a straight match, which I don't know. That might be the only flaw so far, which we still have time. There's still two weeks. Yeah, I think they'll add a stipulation. Right now the conversation mill is maybe they do like a strap match or something to that effect. I mean, they did one Bray Wyatt versus Daniel Bryan, which is a pretty good strap match. Yeah. I heard some people say, you know, oh, let's do a submission match. A submission match or a fight pit, which both of those won't work. Number one, no. Cody has to win this match. Of course. Uh, realistically. So you can't do a fight pit because he's not beating, what do they call him? The most decorated combat athlete, uh, even though Ronda said that was her, but we'll that's get what to they that. call Brock. And then it can't be a submission match because... I don't think Brock's ever submitted. I don't think so, no. So yeah, he he's not gonna go submit Brock. He's not gonna outfight Brock. So yeah, it's maybe like a strap match or maybe like a cowbell or you remember the one where they have to touch all four corners? I don't know. I don't know. That's the old know. old school strap match. Those yeah. used to be fun. Eh. You got the guy the one guy dragging the other guy, touching the corners, and then the the guy that's getting dragged is touching the corners too yeah and then and he doesn't reset. realize it until mm. the fourth corner and then he does something and reverses it and touches the corner and wins yeah i've never been a fan steel cage i know like it's going to be tough because the tribal combat is a hardcore match i know like they're not above putting the same stipulation on the same card i just think both storylines have been thought out perfectly thus far i don't know if they would do that they could do hell in a cell. They could. Because it's not a pay-per-view specific thing anymore. That's true. And then we get an annual hell in a cell match. Yeah, that would work. But would that overshadow the tribal combat match? It could. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. It's tough. I would stick with like maybe like a last man standing. You that would be that. something. Yeah. Not an I quit match. Yeah, you're not making Brock quit. Just... Maybe an <laughs> Could you do an Iron Man match? No. Just because of the time constraint, right? Yeah. They're not going to wrestle for an hour. Yeah, right now, right. <laughs> right now, there's like 10 matches on the card, so they're not going to wrestle an hour. True. Or that show's going to be all night. <laughs> Especially if they're not the main event. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. It has to be like a cage. That's what yeah. I'm feeling. Some kind of cage. We'll see where it goes. 